let us talk Wi-Fi 7 and preamble puncturing. Preamble puncturing enables a radio to be able to still transmit and receive even though there are some sort of interfering signal that pops up in one of the, uh, one of the channels in a wider channel. It only works at 80 megahertz or wider but in Wi-Fi we have something called clear channel assessment or energy detect. That means if it hears some sort of signal the Wi-Fi will just stop completely. With preamble puncturing it allows the radio to disable one of the channels and still be able to transmit. So I'm gonna look at this now. I'm using the iPhone 16 Pro Max here and doing an iPerf test, an upload test. And let's say we suddenly got some interfering signals. It moved to channel 9, it moves to channel 5 and nothing happens. If this signal is a little bit stronger it will completely disrupt Wi-Fi. But what if preamble puncturing worked dynamically. This is what would happen and if this signal moved to channel 5, preamble puncturing hopefully we just disable that channel and the iPerf can still run without disrupting Wi-Fi at all. And that is really really cool. Right now it's only some static commands, it's not dynamic at the moment. I don't know of any vendors that have a working dynamic uh, preamble puncturing model uh, right now, but hopefully this is uh, something that we would see. And to end this video off we can do, let's say we can do a new iperf and we can create this single here and we can watch it, watch it in 3D. So now even the signal in the middle, this will probably look awful on, uh, on YouTube. But uh, it's really cool to see preamble puncturing working so, so well, even when shifting the channels. So then we can draw a picture There. Wasn't that cool? Well, that was preamble puncturing. And uh, have a nice weekend.